Hello everyone and welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. My name is Francesco D'Alessio and in this video what I thought I'd do is round up 10 apps for students. Now this is going to be great because I've been actually quite excited to do this feature for quite a while. Uh, at university over my four years I pulled together some really amazing apps that helped me and a lot of other students get through some tough times in terms of studying academic stuff and helping you just to be more organized and ready for when you come out of university or college. So in today's video what I thought I'd do is round that list up and give you a few tips with each of these applications. Just before we start guys make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification for notifications when the new videos come out. It'd be great to have you in the community and we also have a Facebook group so feel free to join that one too. So my first recommendation for you guys would be a to-do list application and I recommend actually three of them. So the first out of the three I want to recommend is Todoist. Todoist is a really flexible, easy to use task manager. I really enjoyed it at university for being able to note down all of my tasks and activities and also adding things like modules, things like assignments and even social stuff so that I'm making sure that I keep in the loop with all of the stuff that needs to get done. Now there are two other ones. There's AnyDo which is a really strong resource for organizing yourself, especially if you want to create the likes of shopping lists, uh, you know, lists to do in terms of book lists, uh, reading lists, and also just planning all of those module bits of works and activities that you've got on at university or college. The final to-do list one is called Tick Tick. This is very, very similar to the likes of Todoist. It's a very strong option and it's a very customizable option. You can add things like themes and things like that and it's very relaxed and easy to use. Now I would previously recommend Wunderlist, but they are going to be shutting down Wunderlist very soon, so I'm not going to recommend that one. Just a note on to-do list applications, I remember that a lot of people at university or college used iOS reminders. This isn't necessarily wrong, but we recommend that you use a task manager so that when you go into the real world, into active work, it helps you to get comfortable with these resources. And all of the apps that I mentioned have mobile apps, so they're easy to carry around with you on your, on your iPads or Android phones, whatever it is you can have on those devices. So the next one is a note-taking application. It's called Evernote. Uh, Evernote is a really strong resource, perfect for students. Uh, it's actually got a lot of features that are exciting. You can clip documents, you can share notes to friends or people around you, and you can even make notebooks per module that you are doing at university or college. It's a really great way to organize yourself. Having everything in one place, all the lecture notes, meeting notes, activities that you're doing, research that you have, is this giant hub and after university or college you'll have this giant hub to go into the bigger world with you. You can plan things like career and activities there too. There are two alternatives though. There's OneNote which is actually a great way to organize yourself. Put all of your notes inside of OneNote. It's got a lot of beneficial features. Your university or college might actually have a subscription to it already. And another one which is a more of a creative option called Zoho Notebook. I always recommend this to people who are in creative spaces because it's actually quite a nice way to organize some of your content, tasks, activities and things like that. It's quite easy to get on with. Now I again I remembered a lot of people at university and college use no iOS notes or something similar like Google Keep on their Android phones and this is great but when it comes to the long-term solutions planning meeting notes and things like that Evernote and OneNote are great solutions so make sure to try out those two before you opt in on just using the basic notes on your phone now moving on to calendars calendars are a great way to organize all of your events and activities whilst you're at university or college now I recommend three of them. Uh, Time Page by Moleskin is a beautiful calendar application. It allows you to add calendar applications, bringing in things like traffic, weather, and all of the other activities you've got into a really beautifully made application for iOS. It's iOS only, which is a bit of a problem, but it's a really strong solution. The application's price are like $3.99, I believe, but it's actually a really strong application if you're looking for a really gorgeous calendar. Now, my other recommendation is available on most devices. Google Calendar is a really strong experience. And, and the good thing with something like Google Calendar is you can import your lecture timetable into Google Calendar so that you don't ever miss a lecture. You have all of your calendar information at one time and you don't necessarily have to access the portal that the university give you. And the final one I'd like to recommend is called Vantage Calendar. This is 
more for those people who sort of want a beautifully looking calendar that sort of does functional stuff but is more beautiful as a experience. It has this scrolling ability that allows you to see all of your calendar events that are coming up and it's quite easy to access. They've recently added to-dos to the section so if you want to add any reminders to yourself you can add those there. So moving on to number four, we're going in quite level of detail here, so make sure to check out the description below which has all the apps listed. Number four, journaling. Now journaling is a quite an important part of, uh, you know, time at university because you've got time at university, you've got time to relax, you've got time to think about what you want to do for the rest of your life. So there's two journaling apps I want to recommend. One is called Five Minute Journal, a very strong application. I did a full review on this one, you can check it out in the cards above, but it's a great application for noting down things in the morning and evening about how your day went, how you can improve and how you can achieve what you want. The next application is called Bear. Bear is an application that essentially make, allows you to take notes but it's really well designed and easy to use. It's available on iOS and Mac and it can be used as a journaling application. I really think journaling apps are very important at university, especially with such a big topic of mental health uh, at university. It's definitely worth even trying to journal once a week or even once a day. Whether it's once a week or once a day, using it across your day can be very beneficial. And even if you're a bloke, you know, give it a try. It's actually very beneficial. I personally benefited from journaling whilst at university. So my next one actually comes probably the most recommended for college students is Grammarly. Now, you may have seen the ads on videos you might have watched on YouTube, but it's an amazing application that checks your grammar in real time. Now, I found a lot of benefit at university from using this when I wrote my dissertation. I copied all of my work, like whole bits of work into Grammarly, and it basically checked everything and made sure I didn't plagiarize sections or like bring together bad grammar. So actually having that as a tool across my day, as well as it analyzing things like tweets and Facebook messages so I didn't spell anything wrong, it provided me brilliant resource. So it's a Chrome extension and also a download on Mac and Windows. I'll include it in the description below. Number six, I want to mention applications that you can use to be a bit more mindful. Now the first one is mindfulness. Uh, the application itself is a meditation app, gives you the opportunity to take a five to ten minute meditation, a really easy application to follow. You've got guided meditations and easy um, like custom meditations to get started with. It is a really great application. Students need to meditate more. Being able to grab five to ten minutes in your morning starting the day can really reduce things like worries at university, it can reduce things like stress about deadlines, and even any sort of like anxiety that you may have building up. Grabbing that time to just relax is so beautiful. While I was at university I did it on a regular basis and it actually really did help sort of my general uh, confidence and anxiety if I had any during the day. It really did help flush that out. And my second app in that sort of mindfulness experience is called Asana Rebel. This is a really simple yoga application. You can download it. They have free five minute workouts that you can do in the morning. It is great. It's one of my favorite yoga applications. And even if you're a guy, again, you can use this in your morning to do a five to 10 minute yoga session. It's really great. I do, do, I do a workout every two or three days uh, down at the park or here at home. And it's a really great way to just put my phone up and just get started stretching out, relaxing for the day ahead. Number seven is habit tracking apps. Now, you may have heard of habit tracking apps. They're a great way for you to track your progress on like like could be like reduced stopping smoking or it could be something positive like uh, starting meditation. But habit tracking apps are a great way to be able to track your habit and also see your success as you go along. So as you can imagine, there are plenty of them. The first one I'll recommend is called Momentum. It's available on iOS and Mac. It's a good application for being able to bring together. It's a good application for bringing together some of your habits and also tracking them as you go across your day. It's very simple. It uses colors to organize all of your activities. So it's actually a good way visually to see everything at a glance, see how you're progressing. Now there is another one on Android called Habitable. That is a strong one that you can use. Available for Android users, it allows you to track your habits across your day. Now there is one that I use called Strides. It allows you to set your goals. So I set goals and then what I do is I come in every single week and set uh, the new metric so that it projects what I'm going to be finishing at, at the end of the year. So for example, uh, I, I took like a savings amount, how much I want to save, and I set it inside of the application. And basically what it does is I check in with the amount I'm saving and then it gives me projections on where, how the rate I'm going at 
and things I can improve on. Strides is available on Android and iOS. I'll include it in the description below. So we're moving on to the final ones now. Number eight is Trello. Trello is a great way to organize some projects and activities that you have. Now, what I recommend it for more is, is it like a vision board or a career board that you can help plot all of your ideas out on. I know a lot of people that use it for content planning, uh, managing their goals and tasks, but in general, Trello is a really flexible resource. I mentioned it as a vision board or a career board, but you can use it in any way, which is amazing. I found Trello at university a great way to plot all of my uh, activities or career-based stuff so that I could plan in the future, but it also has a huge amount of, of abilities that you can use across your day. Number nine, this is more for those who want to learn while at university and learn a new skill that some you might not be learning in classes or that is outside of your course. You might have been like, I want to learn in design or Adobe Premiere or even something like tea making skills. I don't know. Using a tool that is outside of university can be very beneficial. So what I recommend is going to Skillshare. Skillshare is a really strong course site. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have premium, but the premium there is like a month free or something like that. So check it out because you can go and sign up to courses, learn new things. It could be about photography, it could be on Instagram, it could be on social media, etc. There is so much stuff to learn on Skillshare. Plus, when you come out of university, you have a few courses under your belt. It makes you look much more proactive than the other students around. And my final recommendation, Forest. Uh, I always recommend Pomodoro timers to students. Uh, I actually included how to use Pomodoro timer in the cards above. Uh, it's a video all about how to optimize the Pomodoro method to get things done. The Forest application is a uh, free app. Uh, actually, it's free on Android, not free on iOS, uh, but it's a paid application, really cheap, um, $1.99 or something like that. It is an application that will allow you to track your Pomodoros. Pomodoros are basically 25 minutes periods of work and five minute breaks. This is a great tactic for your studies. So being able to use that, it's fantastic. But the great thing about Forest is it gamifies it. So every time you get open your phone or damage the cycle, it will kill a tree, which you don't want to happen. So Forest is available on Android and iOS. It's a fun way to keep your study cycles going and keep really productive. So guys, those were the 10 apps for college students and university students that are looking to be a bit more proactive in their time. I'm gonna be doing more videos for students very soon. So feel free to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and also follow us along on the Facebook community. It'd be great to have you guys there. Um, and I put out regular videos. So feel free if you're a student to reach out to me directly on Twitter, social media, all of those stuff and ask any questions you have about apps and resources. I found it very beneficial to use apps across my university experience and I hope that you find some value in a couple of these recommendations. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to keep studying, keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.